Here we go again. And now we can get into the meaty stuff. Well, um, I don't know exactly what you mean by the meaty stuff. I, well, I, you're talking I, about a failed presidency. Yeah. Um, I think it's obvious, or, or, or it ought to be obvious, that we basically have a have a president who really doesn't know what he's doing in terms of what makes the American economy tick. Um, he basically believes in having poverty trickle up because he despises the rich and the successful and views uh, business people who create jobs and employ others as essentially thieves and crooks who are exploiting the middle class and the working class. And it doesn't work that way. And I think anybody who saw Condoleezza Rice's speech last night, um, I think can really, really see that the business of America is business. And if you work hard and you struggle, even if you're a young black girl who can't have a hamburger at the Woolworths counter, you can become Secretary of State, okay? You can do anything in America, and unfortunately we have a president who actually believes that those who are successful have exploited the poor. That essentially anyone who has strove for uh, material accomplishments and has acquired wealth and has done well has somehow preyed upon, um, well, I guess, basically, uh, lower socioeconomic classes. And that the only way to right these wrongs is for uh, community organizing type of activities to basically steal from the successful and redistribute that wealth to those who are not. So, Hopefully, we will be able to turn him out of office on November 6th and also turn Harry Reid, you know, and, and his criminals out of office running the Senate and basically have a Republican government. And then you will see America unleashed to reclaim its greatness and its exceptionalism. We will once again lead the world because no one else will. And we have to. So I sit here saying this very freely and openly because I have actually retired from my 31 years working in the defense industry and feeling somewhat that I had to hold my tongue when speaking about national figures because I didn't want um, anyone to get the idea that I was speaking on behalf of my company. But now that I'm retired, I feel I can be much more um, open and honest about, um, about how I feel about events in the political arena. So as I said, I am looking forward to Mitt Romney's speech tonight and uh, Marco Rubio's introduction of Mitt Romney. Um, he is a man of integrity, very well accomplished, Harvard lawyer, Harvard MBA, who has hired a whiz kid, Paul Ryan, who knows government, finance, and accounting, and budgeting inside and out. And they will fix this country, and they will not fail, as Anne Romney promised us when she gave her speech. And I think anyone who doesn't believe it Go vote for the Romney-Ryan ticket and give them a chance. We can. I don't believe we could do any worse than we already have um, with uh, Barack Obama. So, anyway, that's kind of how I'm feeling today, August 30th in the early afternoon, um, awaiting the festivities of the Republican National Convention tonight. Once again, happy birthday, Pookie, and I'll be getting back to you soon. Adios.